In the expensive universe of Red Dead Redemption Online, players are constantly on the lookout for ways to enhance their in-game experience. One such enhancement is the acquisition of treasure maps, which not only provide a sense of adventure, but also offer valuable rewards. Some maps, such as the Lake Isabella map, can even be exploited by players to receive infinite gold, money, and other rewards. For newcomers and seasoned players alike, the quest for these maps can sometimes be challenging. However, a method has emerged that promises an endless supply of every treasure map available in the game. To embark on this treasure-filled journey, players must first make their way to Rhodes and seek out Anthony Foreman. The red markers that dot the in-game map are of utmost importance. Before diving into the method, one must ensure they have access to the Blood Money mission. If not, a visit to Sendeni to converse with Martinelli will grant them this mission. Once equipped with the mission, players should navigate to the online menu and select the free roam option. Upon loading, Anthony Foreman becomes the next point of contact. Engaging with him and choosing the Blood Money mission, specifically the Stagecoach Stick Up mission, will transport players into a temporary solo lobby. This solo environment is crucial for the treasure map spawning process. Once the mission begins, players will need to travel to the locations of these markers. These markers indicate the spawning locations of treasure maps and the treasure hunters who hold them. It's advised to mark these locations for easy reference. For an almost guaranteed spawn rate, you'll want to place your waypoint here and follow the exact path marked by the waypoint. If by chance, the map does not spawn upon reaching the designated location, it's often faster and more efficient to restart the blood money mission and try again. This approach minimizes the waiting time and increases the likelihood of obtaining the treasure map. However, for those players who possess a bit more patience or are keen on exploring, they can opt to check the other marker locations. This alternative route might be lengthier but can also yield fruitful results. While the method is universally applicable across all gaming consoles, the distance traveled within the game can be a deterrent for some. However, the allure of treasure maps, which translate to gold and money, and can even be exploited, often outweighs this minor inconvenience. For those gaming on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, there are additional solar lobby methods and treasure map glitches to explore. However, this particular method is especially beneficial for Xbox and PC players, who often find it challenging to access a solo lobby. As players traverse from roads to the heartlands, they should be vigilant and watchful for random events and chance encounters that occur. Such encounters tend to offset the spawn of treasure maps in the location we are traveling to. If players happen to come across a chance event that is not a treasure hunter, they should restart the mission and try again. Upon reaching the red marked locations, I have found that for an almost guaranteed spawn, it is better to continue on this path and come completely around this hill after reaching your marker, where the map will then appear on a nearby tree. In another instance, players have encountered a treasure hunter on top of the hill, who they have the option to purchase the map or employ a more aggressive approach by incapacitating the hunter and taking the map. The latter method, though more direct, yields the same result. The process doesn't end here. For PlayStation 4 users, disconnecting the internet is the next step, while PlayStation 5 and PC players should close out their respective games. It is important to time this as the treasure map is given to you. Upon re-entry into the game, players will find themselves near Anthony Foreman, ready to repeat the process and accumulate more treasure maps. However, a word of caution, the game has a built-in three-day cooldown for this method. If you do quit your game or disconnect your Wi-Fi immediately after the map is given to you, this will bypass the cooldown. Making this method repeatable, that wraps up today's guide on how to get infinite treasure maps in Red Dead Online. This method is by far the most consistent and effective, especially for Xbox and PC players. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all things Red Dead Online. Until next time, happy treasure hunting, and I'll catch you in the next one.